continue our adventures through the stunning Innes National Park on the York Peninsula in South Australia. So we are where the Blue Arrow is. We're going to run all the way here now to Browns and that'll pretty much conclude our little... Not until we find Shelley Beach in the rock pool. You look really weird. You look really weird. You look weird. Stop putting it so close. Driven down the road to the Sorry. For that. Dolphin Bay, That's a and um, Chris has decided we're not going to walk down there. Right, well, Last time we were here, I actually walked down there and took some shots, so I'm going to insert them here. Is this I can see why this place is so popular. More of these beautiful red rocks, just like you see in Bay of Fires in Tassie. It is a stunning little beach. Oh my! Oh, sorry. Stop. Sorry about that. So rude. Sorry, it wasn't me, but I didn't mean it. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't even know what I was saying, but it's a beautiful beach. It's a very Instagrammable beach. Eat! You are going to break the camera. Oh, sorry. Anyway, I'm saying goodbye now because I don't know what's going to happen next. Because I really want to go to Shell Beach or Shelly Beach or whatever it is, I have put it into the GPS and that is where we are headed now because you're just going to follow the little purple line, aren't you? Maybe. We're going to go find this rock pool. Yeah, you can. I can? Yeah, I could be bothered. It's only 1 o'clock, 1.30 and you, you need your nana nap. So Miriam has been nagging, 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 nagging that she wants to come to this place. So, darling, look where I've brought you. I feel like put it into the sat nap. Well, now you put it into the chief I did. Right. And now we're here, so hopefully it's good. So whoever it was that said this place is amazing and one of the best rock pools around, we're about to find out if you're mm. telling the truth. I'll tell you what. To Donna, toilet's up here! I'll tell you what's good. A friggin' coffee lollies that I'm eating. I keep stealing them from the holiest car. The best. I'll fill you in it afterwards which coffee lollies they are, but mate, they are good. Oi, it's not a women's club in there. Can you just hurry up? It's like a bloody women's club in there. They're having like a full doing? meeting or something in there. Let's go. Let's just go. Oh, yay! So what did you get through in your meeting? Addy dropped her Invisalign on the ground. Mm. Oh, yum. In the toilet. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that was fun. You going to be long? Oi! We're waiting for you, mate. Oh, they're in the toilet. We can't go without them. Yeah, we can. <laughs> yeah, we can. You were long enough. Let's go. That was like 30 seconds. No, you weren't. You were ages. Oh, so I'm yeah. thinking the rock pool is over that way. Yeah. Well, I, do I, don't, I don't have internet to read the message again, but he said it was not far from the stairs. So maybe... Well, we can go over there as well. I don't know. Let's go hunting, hey? So they're going for their little walk down the beach down that way to see if they can find this rock pool. I don't know how they're going to go, but do you reckon I should go chase them? I probably should, shouldn't I? So they're still on their hunt. They've walked right to the tip up the top and you can just <laughs> see them scooping over the rocks trying to look for it, but they're not having much luck, eh? Yes, well I've got some updated information. They're walking back. They're walking back all the way along the beach back to where we are, so, but good effort for trying girls. Um, when they're back, I think we might try this side and see if we can find the rock pools over there. But So we've managed to Google um, and find some images and they were actually right near where they were supposed to be, but they just had to go around the corner a little bit more. Do we give them the great news, Greg, when they get here? Yeah, we'll wait for them to walk up the steps. Well, Miriam's going to love this one, hey? We'll get it a jog all the way back. <laughs> You can tell her. She won't bash you, she'll bash me. <laughs> you didn't find it. Didn't find him, eh? No good. How'd you go, babe? Yeah, it's really pretty over there. No there. go? No rock pool, and I read the message. Couldn't find the rock pool? And he said, oh, to the right, right near the stairs, but I'm maybe high tide. Okay. Or 15 All right. years ago. Alright, just might give you a little bit of information that we've just found right now. A you were literally right there. You just had to go around the corner a tiny bit more when you yeah. would have got there. Oh, yeah. you're kidding. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, we are serious. We just, we just got reception and had a look. 
see the big rock as far as you can see. Mm -hmm. It's just on the outside of that. You were literally there, guys. I could see you. You want to head didn't think to walk down with the camera and well, tell us. Well, did it really matter if I told you here or 50 metres down the beach there? You barely found it when you got back to the beach. Yeah. Oh, oh that's about to go home. So what's it look like? It just rock looks pool. like a rock pool. Well, you don't like rock pools. Well, it just mad. looks like any other sort of rock pool, really. Yes. Oh, it's a big, oh, that's a very bad photo. So, that's, that's Google. Are we going to head back? Donna, are we heading back? No, I'll do whatever. I'm easy. Just not to. Well, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> What did you just say, Donna? <laughs> did you say you're easy but not cheap? <laughs> I'm joking, of course. There you go, boys. I'm obviously easy. I've got three children. <laughs> so what are we going to do? Um, whatever you like. I don't care. Babe, the spotlight's on you, honey. What are we doing? I'm fine. Everyone's packed, ready to go if back. If you want to walk back, I'll walk back with you. I'll leave this tub here, though. Look, let's be brutally honest. Even if we did find an amazing rock pool, it's not that warm. You've got no shirt on. But, and it'll be windy down there. Yeah, because I've been standing in the sun waiting for you guys. But we're here, like. I know. I'm walk back with you. But I'm not carrying this tub. Okay. I'm going to walk here. back with Donna. I'll go have a look. Do you want to actually look at the image of it first before you walk back? I did. All... It's a very average image. I want to go and take no, a better no, one and load it to Google. Cool. He said, Shell Beach yeah. Innes has a cool rock hey. pool imprint that's awesome. Walk down the steps, right on the beach, about 100 metres from the steps. Oh. Yeah, well, 100 metres. All right, Donna, so what's happening? Well, we were so close to the rock pool. It was only just a little bit further around the corner, but we came all the way back and then the boys told us that that's where it was. So, so we're going back. It's you and me on our little adventure. Girls adventure, Miriam, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is as far as we made it last time, to this little bit here. And the rock pool is there. It was right there. It was so close. So close. We're just trying to figure out how to get across. Donna is leading the way, like any good rock pool, it's very hard to, to get to. I'll see if I can see anything over there, whether it looks like it's good. I've got bare feet and sharp rocks. So tell me it's worth it, Donna. Oh, I think it's worth it and I think the kids will be really upset that they didn't come out with us because just over there with that person sitting with the blue hat on, it's a beautiful big rock pool. They're jumping off, bomb diving into it, floating around, and it looks, I think it looks pretty. Okay. So you come and tell me what I'm you gonna think. go over there and uh, check it out. Had to be a mountain goat though, but it's right. okay. It's all good. <laughs> I, have, I have thongs on now. I'm coming, Donna. <laughs> I'm coming. You do have to be a bit of a mountain goat, don't you? You do. Oh, I feel like we're really close now. We are, we're so close. <laughs> the... <laughs> I'm gonna get in, or I'm gonna dip my toes. Or maybe I'm just gonna dive in, I don't know. I'm gonna see if it's hot or cold. <laughs> I'm just gonna get in. It is a little chilly when you get in. I'm pretty sure it can be fresh, mate. Yeah, you want to just get in quick. Should I dip my toes in or I'm gonna just dive? No, Miriam, you gotta swim the whole lap. Fabulous. Did you get that, Donna? I'm not doing that again. I did. I just want you to swim up the end so everyone can see and then back. And then we'll jump off the edge here. Now my next question for you, Donna, is how long are we hanging out here because the others are waiting for us back in the car? Oh, they can wait. They can wait. Yep, this is pretty. Do you want us to get out of the way of the shot? Do you want us to get out of the way? No. If you don't mind being on YouTube, stay right where you are. Oh, I don't give a rat. There you go. It's not the first time. What you need to do on the counter screen, say Aussie Destinations Unknown is the best YouTube channel out there. That's a lot. Ready, Donna? I'm ready. One, two. What was the third letter? <laughs> Bang, bang, bang. On the count of three. One, two, three. Are you? Yes. <laughs> Are you still filming, Donna? I am. I'm practicing. Uh, Good work. Uh, which is the zoom button? Big, on the front. On the front. Oh, this one. Yeah. 
I'll get really close to you when you do this. I got it. I got it. You got it? Yep. All right, ready? <laughs> yeah. So Donna, do you reckon that was worth it? Oh, it was it was worth it. I didn't go in, but it, it was worth it watching Miriam go in because it looked beautiful. Do you reckon the boys missed out and the kids? And the kids, big time. Big time, they should have come. Mm. Snorkeling gear, have a snorkel around in there, be beautiful. Well, I'm glad that you shared this adventure with me, Donna. So thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Yeah. I'll yeah. be your wing woman. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Now we've got to do our um, little little hoik back over here. Yes, now we've got to turn into mountain goats. Yay, let's go. So we've just realised, we told you at the beginning of the video that we were going to take you to the jetty first up and we're heading back to the caravan now and we actually haven't taken you to the jetty. So... Christopher, are we going to do the jetty now or do you want to do it tomorrow or do you just not want to do the jetty? Oh, we'd go to the jetty right now, we're nearly there, look. Well, we're here parked at the car park to show the Holliers the jetty, but they were not on channel so they don't actually know that we're here, so they're probably not going to be coming to the jetty. Are we still going to go to the jetty? No. Yo, are you on channel? We don't know. Might be an adventure Yo. for tomorrow. Hey. Do you want to check out the jetty? On their way. It's stunning. It's one of the most beautiful jetties that yeah, I've ever it, seen. It's beautiful. And there's a lot of history here. Obviously, back in Stenison, there's an old town. Stenison? It's called Stenison. Oh. Steniston, maybe. Uh, the little town back there, which we didn't film because we couldn't be bothered. That's where <laughs> they used to do a lot of mining. Cannot remember what they mined here, but then it was pumped all the way to here. And then there was big conveyor belts that ran down and a big gantry down there where they used to dump it all onto the ships and The information take boards it to... are actually down the bottom. Oh. On the information board, I know, mate. He's, he's doing quite well without having read anything. On the information board, yeah. I just know because I just, just know. Just oh, I must have read it somewhere or someone told <laughs> me. But anyway, we'll let Miss Information Board here go down and tell you. But it is cracking down there, crystal clear water. It it's is beautiful. stunning. Here I'm blabbering away, think I knew everything about the little town called Steniston or whatever it was. It's actually Inniston. So I just remembered now, and that's in Innes National Park. So I guess that's where they got the Innes National Park name from. So Inniston. Okay, so she's found an information board. Ah, uh, babe. I just got to let you in on a little secret. I let all these people know about my little secret, but that? that little town back there called um, Stinnison or whatever I was calling. Yeah. It's called Inniston. Inniston, yeah. Like Innes National Park, <laughs> Inniston. I'm like, Stinniston? I've not heard of that before. That's okay. 100%. What information have you found here? Well, um, they used to mine gypsum. That's so... it, gypsum. So I was saying that they used to mine it in the town there and bring it here, cart it down the conveyor belts bag it and then put it into the tr into the ship, is that what they used to do? Yeah, the bags were winched to the base of the jetty and then manually pushed along the jetty. Yeah, okay. um, and then when locomotives replaced the horsepower, gypsum was transported unbagged and in bulk and stockpiled on the top of the cliff. And it says in the 1930s an extensive V-shaped cutting was gouged from the cliff to hold more gypsum, but the gypsum hardened and couldn't be moved onto the conveyor belt. Yeah. So then employees were sent down the face of the stockpile to manually loosen the gypsum, which was apparently very dangerous. Yeah, right. And then it the jetty ceased operation in 1974 after a fall in the demand for gypsum. And Donna was just looking up there what gypsum is used for, and we couldn't really find anything. I wouldn't have a Apparently clue. Was, they use gypsum blocks to separate walls in buildings or something, but I don't... Hang on, there's another one over here. Mm. No, it doesn't say what gypsum was used for. Mm. It just says that the mining work slowed down at Marion Lake in the early mm. 70s, and by 73, only six men were employed by the mining company. In 1975, the state government purchased Stenhouse Bay and Innocent and added them to the national park. Well, there we bloody go. So there go. you go. So this was the site of extensive workings of the Waratah gypsum plant, and it is no longer. Done. There you go. I had to take the camera. Oh, what? There you go. It's still recording. Bye. Check out all that old infrastructure, hey? It's amazing. And then all along here, too. Have a look. See all the walls that run along? Mm. This would have been like an epic little... It would have been a hub. What do you call it? Hive like of activity. Hub. The hub of activity, there you go. Hub or hive of activity. The hub or hive? What's a hive? Hive. Hive. 
Like a beehive, a oh, hive Oh, like where all the bees were before. Maybe it was a hive because there's lots of bees around here. Maybe. Behave yourself, honey. Come on. Are you jumping off the jetty? No. Are you? Are you jumping off the jetty? I jumped into the rock pool. Are you, you jumping off the jetty? Are you saying that because you're going to push me in? Maybe. <laughs> Do you want me to push in? No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's very beautiful though. The water does look amazing. Yeah. But no, I'm not jumping off the jetty. Yeah, look at the colour of this water here. Look at that. Is that not just stunning or what? Whew. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Not as beautiful as you, my darling. Oh, no, I haven't done anything with my hair. Oh, yes, I did. I jumped in. Babe, hang on. Have you done something with your hair? It looks actually really nice today. You like my mustache? That yeah, was your funny hat. Thank you. Beautiful. <laughs> Jim just said something really cool and you're being very observant, haven't you? What? What, what were you saying? About the squid ink? Yeah. Oh, there's just not much squid ink on this jetty. That's how you can tell if there's a lot of squid in the area, hey? Yeah, like there's... The... Normally the jetties are black. There's the odd... With ink. Yeah, you can see a bit of it, like there, look, that's a splat, look. But if you want to see ink... Here you go, jetty... look, that that's squid, mate. Look at these. If you want to see ink on the jetty, go to Port Norlunga. The Port, Port Norlunga jetty. It's like completely covered. What about the Turton Jetty? Yeah, Point Turton's got some squid as well. It, we are literally knackered. I've had enough today. Speak for yourself. I'm full of beans, but I'm not jumping off the jetty. Okay, I'm going to say it again then. I am absolutely knackered. Like, I've had enough today. I just feel like I want to go back. Do you know what day it is today too, by the way, honey? No, oh, Sunday. He's not knackered at all. He just wants to go watch the... Supercross. <laughs> Supercross, Supercross is on! Supercross.